Do you want to know more about model railroad operations? Why don't you stick around and watch this segment and see how we do it on my Inscale Model Railroad to say her secondary. <laughs> Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and Inscale. Welcome back to the Operations Series. So this time in the Operations Series, we're going to be running the YJ SAO2. Uh, the YJ SAO2 calls out of Browns Yard. However, the crew operates out of the Parlin Yard down in Sayreville, New Jersey. Um, then they service all the industries on that line, uh, including National Lead, Sunshine, uh, Middlesex MUA, and other industries that aren't represented on the layout. Also, don't forget this series, we're going to be working with the new switch list from the Conrail Historical Society. So as I've uh, indicated in previous videos, if you like these switch lists, make sure you go over to the Conrail Historical Society shop and you can get them. Uh, actually, it's a great deal. It's uh, 50 sheets in a packet for $5. So I'll put the link up in the comments section of this video so you can uh, just hit it and go right over there and order them up if you like them. Okay, so the crew's on their way over to Parlin. Let's go ahead over there and meet them. We'll go over our paperwork and we'll get to work. Okay, so the crew's over in Parlin now, and they got their uh, locomotives all set to go. Uh, let's take a look at our work list for today, the uh, switch list. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of work to do. We have car, uh, three cars to pick up at National Lead, one car at MUA, two cars at Capital Steel, uh, two cars that are in the yard that uh, First Shift had taken care of, and then we got two cars from Sunshine. Then we'll head over to Brown's Yard and pick up our cars and come back and then we have to set them out. We have uh, two cars to drop at Sunshine, one to drop at MUA, three at National Lead, two at Capital Steel, and then we have two more cars that we're gonna spot in the Parlin Yard uh, for the second shift to drop at Capital Steel later tonight. So don't forget this is a yard job so we don't need a Form D for track authority. Uh, we're just gonna call in service and uh, time in service is gonna be 0703 hours on the fast clock. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to pick up all our empties because, you know, watching my operators do this job and also some recommendations from everybody who's been watching the channel that it makes more sense just to pick up your empties and take them over to Browns and drop them in and come back with the loads. So I've been watching everybody do it during the operating sessions. And you know what? Uh, I think that's definitely a easier and better way to do it. So uh, we'll get started with that. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head down to Sunshine. We're going to pick up our empties there. Then we'll run around them so we can uh, do all the facing point uh, turnouts and just go over to Brown Zero. Okay, so our crew's gonna get off the train, the conductor and the brakeman, they're gonna lock the turnout for sunshine. We're gonna throw that turnout. Conductor's gonna ride the uh, locomotive down into the plant, brakeman will stay with the switch stand, and we're gonna move forward. First thing we're going to do is we're going to couple and connect. Conductor is going to release the handbrake. 9625, push forward five car lengths. Couple and connect. Conductor is going to release that handbrake.
All right, so the breaker's gonna uh, close the turnout for Sunshine. He's gonna open the turnout for the runaround. 9625, turnout's line for the runaround. Push forward six car lengths. All right, we're gonna set a handbrake on the tank car. And we're gonna pull back and uncouple. All right, breakers gonna close the turnout for the run around. Conductor is gonna ride with the locomotive, and uh, we're gonna run around the train. All right, now we'll back down and uh, couple one of those cars. Okay, so now I think the next best move is while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and pick up those uh, empty guns over at uh, Capital Steel. Nine, six, two, five, pull forward, one car length. Conductors on the ground. All right, conductor's gonna open that turnout for Capital Steel. And he's gonna ride the hopper back it down into the plant. 9625, turnout's line for Capital Steel. Conductor's on the rear, push back five car lengths. One half. That's good. Couple and connect. We're gonna release two handbrakes. All right, now uh, we'll pull forward, clear to run around. All right, conductor's going to get off on uh, Bordentown Avenue. He's going to pop a flare and protect the crossing. Brakeman had walked up to meet us. He's going to have to throw that turnout on the runaround and close it. And now we'll push back. Let our conductor hop on. Okay, so the crew now is going to work National Lead MUA, and they're going to pick up what you can't see. Maybe you can. Back there in our little cassette that I made, there's two cars, and that's representing the Parlin Yard. So we've got to pick up all those cars, and uh, we'll be ready to pull the string in the Browns. Okay, so first we're going to work the number two track at National Lead. So Brakeman's going to walk back. He's going to open the turnouts. Conductor's going to ride the rear. 9625, turnouts aligned for National Lead number two. Push back five car lengths to my mark.
Two more. One more. One half. That's good on the pin. Then we're gonna couple and connect. We're gonna release two handbrakes for the two tank cars that are in there. All right, nine, six, two, five. Pull forward two car lengths. One more. That's good right there, nine, six, two, five. All right, Brakeman's on the ground. He's going to open line the turnout for national lead number one. Nine, six, two, five, turnout's line for national lead number one. Push back four car lengths to a couple. All right. And we'll go ahead and release that handbrake on that tank car. All right, 9625. Pull forward to my mark. All right, Brakeman's on the grind. He's going to close the turnout to uh, National Ed and open that turnout for MUA. 9625, turnout's line for MUA. Brakeman's on the ground, conductor's on the rear, push back. Six car lengths to a couple. All right, we'll go ahead and release that handbrake on the tank car. All right, so uh, I just stopped the camera because I had to go over there and make sure it coupled up because I can't see it from where I am. It worked, so uh, I'm pretty happy. All right. 9625, pull forward. That's good right there. All right, breakers are gonna line it like that turnout. Him and the conductor are gonna jump on the rear of that tank car and I gotta ride back down in the parlor in the yard so we can pick up those cars. Nine, six, two, five, push back to my mark. All right. Now, before we head down to Brown Jar, we are going to have to do an air brake test. I'm going to do an initial because all these cars we just picked up, we don't know their status. We have 10 cars. And charge the train line. All right, nine, six, two, five, give me a set. 45 PSOA, pressure's too low. So we're gonna walk the train and inspect. Okay, so uh, walk the train, we can't find a problem. We're gonna charge it again. All 
All right. One nine two five. Give me a set. All right, that's a good set. And confirm the pressure at the EOT. And we're gonna walk the train, inspect the train again. Make sure all our brake shoes are set. While they're doing that, I've gone ahead and got all my car cards in order. Go back. And I'll go ahead and check our switch list and make sure that we got all our work done. 9625, that's a good set. Give me a release. Brakes are released. Now we're gonna uh, inspect to make sure they're all released. Okay, test is complete. So we're gonna go contact Brown's yard, uh, the yard master, and see if we get clearance to come in the yard. Okay, so our air brake test is complete. We have all our paperwork in order. I just called over to Brown's yard to see if we're ready to come down. Uh, fortunately, the main is occupied. They got a train coming through. Um, he said once it clears out of there, they'll give us a call back. So we're just gonna hold here and uh, wait for that train to come through. Okay, now that the trail van train's clear, uh, Brown's Yard uh, said we're clear to come in. We're going to take the cars over to uh, track two. So, conductor's going to walk ahead. He's going to protect the crossing over at Bordentown Ave. Okay, so now that we're clear track two, we're gonna back down a couple onto our train. We're gonna do a pushback into uh, Parlin uh, so we can hit all the facing point turnouts first and then uh, do the trailing points. Couple and connect. Release the two handbrakes. I'm going to do an air test because we don't know the status of these cars, so we got to do it before we head down. Charge the train line. All right, nine six two five. Give me set. All right, that's a good set. Confirm the pressure, sixty eight psi. We're going to walk the train and inspect the shoes are all set. All right, inspection is complete. 9625, that's a good set. Give me a release. And a release, we're going to visually inspect. All right. Test complete. Test successful. All right, so now the crew is going to go ahead and push their train back.
All right, conductor's going to get off. He's going to flag the crossing. Why they push back? All right, so I think the easiest thing to do now is uh, we're going to have the conductor go ahead and open the turnout on the runaround. We're going to go ahead and work Capital Steel while we're here. So what we need to do, we open that turnout. We're going to continue on pushing back. Conductor's going to ride the rear. Nine six two five. Two more car lengths. One more. One half. That's good. We got them two gone st uh, spotted in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, set two handbrakes. Set another handbrake. Nine, six, two, five. Pull forward. Clear of Capital Steel. Brakeman's going to go ahead and uh, close that turnout, lock it. Okay, so these next three cars in the line are going over to National Lead. So we're going to push straight through and uh, work National Lead. All right, so the conductor opened the turnout for the other side of runaround. 9625, push back, turnout's line for National Lead. Conductor is riding on the rear. All right, so these first two tank cars got to go into the loading rack because they're empties. Brakeman's going to line that uh, turnout to the number two lead. 9625, turnout's line for number two, national lead, pushback, three car lengths. One more. One half. That's good right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set two handbrakes on those tank cars. Okay, and then the, um, we're going to go ahead and pull forward because the hopper needs to go to the number one track. All right, breaker's going to move that turnout. 9625, turnout's line for National Lead number one. Conductor and brakeman are on the ground. Push back. Three car lengths. Good right there. So we'll go ahead and set the handbrake on that t uh, hopper car. All 
and we'll uncouple and pull forward. Okay, so the crew's gonna go ahead and uh, close that turnout and lock it. And the next tank car in line has to go back to MUA. So we're gonna move down there. All right, we're going to close the turnout for the runaround and pull forward. Right there. All right. Crew's going to open the turnout for uh, the middle six MUA. 9625, turnout's line for MUA. Brake was on the ground, conductors on the rear. Push back, three car lengths. That's good right there. We're gonna go ahead and set the handbrake on that car. Go ahead and long lock that turnout for uh, MUA. Okay, so our last little bit of work here is we're gonna have to work sunshine. Um, we gotta pull forward here and drop these cars and run around them. We also have to change the order up because they weren't blocked properly. Alright, so we're going to set a handbrake. Uncouple this tank car. Pull forward. I'm sorry, we're going to back up. Okay. Open that turnout for sunshine. Push forward. Drop that tank car. The tank car needs to go in first all the way in the back. And then the hopper goes up front. So we're going to set that handbrake. Now we'll go pick up the hopper. All right, we'll release that handbrake. Now we'll go ahead and uh, spot those cores.
All right, we'll set the handbrake on the tank car. And we'll pull forward. Okay, we'll spot this guy here. Oops. <laughs> Set a handbrake. All right. Close that turnout. Lock it. Okay, last bit of work we gotta do is we gotta head over to Brown's yard and get our cars for the second shift and spot them over in the Parlin yard. Okay, so we'll set two handbrakes on those cars. We're just gonna leave them here on the run around. Second shift crew can come down and pick them up. So we'll go ahead and turn that, close that turnout. All right. And the crew's gonna go off duty. They'll call for their ride and uh, head on back to Browns. Time on a fast clock. It's gonna be 13.05 hours. Okay, everyone, so there you go. Uh, really good. Uh, had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, we started at seven o'clock on a fast clock in the morning and wrapped up at one o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, really good job, six hours. Um, you know, I think the key to this job was definitely, uh, like everybody recommended, is pulling the empties first, taking them down, and bringing the loads back. So uh, yeah, very happy with that. Um, this section's running really, really good. Uh, very, very happy with the way it ran. No derailments. I had a couple issues where I ran against turnouts and that was operator error uh, because of my power riding turnout. So when I run, it, it shorts out. But other than that, I mean, everything's really uh, running good. Did some real tricky maneuvers, uh, you know, running through from the, like, uh, the run around into national lead. That's a real sharp turn, I guess, uh, 
changing out all them tur those wheels and couplers and you know standardizing everything really made the difference because it ran super good um also after the last time we did this uh, a lot of people were kind of saying hey you need to clean your track before you do these videos so made sure i get it got in here doing really good cleaning uh before this video also cleaned the wheels on those uh locomotives and uh, put some conductor lube in on the points and uh i think it paid off uh really happy with the way it uh ran no little thing sorry those i don't know why those atlas uh mp15s they're very loud they're, and and uh, they've been lubricated and they're brand new they're not old so and they just at a little higher speeds they kind of make that noise and it sounds like a grinder so not much i could do around it but i found if i backed it off and did it real slow that uh the noise wasn't too bad so hopefully i can uh, turn uh, tune that down for you in uh, editing um but otherwise sorry the best i could and also i'm sorry i forgot to wrap up the paperwork wise um as you can see over my shoulder i went ahead and did all the bill uh, way bills and car cards put those in the bill boxes um also the new switch list uh very happy with the new uh, switch list from the conrail historical society i'm really liking it a lot more information more organized easier to see the moves because of the inbound and outbound columns um also it's got that nice remark section so you can put little notes in there so as you've seen i put a lot of notes on there um because i noticed during the t um the operating sessions that the sunshine is the big one that a lot of people get confused is the tank car supposed to go in the brick building or or or, or vice versa and I find cars are out of position after operating sessions. Uh, but, you know, here with the comments section, um, it's a, I can put right in there. Tank car, brick building, uh, a hopper, masonry building. So, you know, that's what's really good about this, this switch list. So, uh, really happy with it. Don't forget. If you like these, go over and check them out. Um, uh, this is another shameless plug for the uh, Conrail Historical Society. Uh, go over there and check out their, their website. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, you know, they do a tremendous value to the model rarity community. So uh, any support you can give to them, uh, I'd greatly appreciate, and I'm sure they would too. Okay, so that's going to put a wrap on the, the YJSAO2, uh, another successful run. Uh, make sure you come back next month if you like what you saw, and uh, we're going to be running the WJSA33 over to Dayton to service that area over there. Um, otherwise, uh, if you're seeing this video for the first time, please subscribe to the channel because we're always doing great content like this, and we'd love to have you following along. Make sure you're checking out our Facebook page and Instagram account because I'm always putting daily updates of all the status of the layout. And otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.